what's going on? This is Jay from JHP Video Tutorials and in this tutorial we're going to go over extension tubes. Check this thing out. This is an extension tube. It's a 25 millimeter extension tube and it's made in Japan. I got this on BH Photo. It's a Kenko and I don't know, it was, it was pretty cheap. It was under 50 bucks. Maybe it was like, eh, it was under $100. Let me put it that way. Um, everything's expensive, but it was relatively cheap compared to a macro lens. So what I'm going to do, well what I wanted to show you was, is pretty much it just goes in between the lens and the camera, like so. This thing just screws on here, like that, and then it goes right off, like that. And that's all there is to it. Now the camera will be able to focus on stuff much closer. That's what this does. By moving the lens further away from the sensor, it actually allows it to focus closer. And that's the advantage of the extension tube. Now this is already a macro lens, so you can get pretty close with this lens, but it's not a true macro, like a 100 millimeter macro or something. So this helps greatly when it comes to zooming in with stuff. So let me show you what I'm talking about. This, 40, this Canon 40D has live view, which is a great feature. So I'm just going to set the camera up and I'm going to show you the difference as to how close you can zoom in on stuff with and without the extension tube. Alright, so stand by and I will show you that. Alrighty, so I just wanted you to see the distance here. This is what we're looking at from the front of the camera to the subject. It's about seven inches, all right? So just so you guys know, that's what we're looking at as far as the measurement goes. Now let me set my camera up to the back here. All right, so check this out. I'm gonna go to live view, because that's just so convenient. I'm just gonna adjust the exposure on this thing a little bit. Make it a little darker so it's easier to see live view. Something like that. All right, now check this out. I'm gonna try to focus on the uh, sculpture and I can't. See that? That's as close as I can get. So now I have to move the camera further back. And if I move it further back I can actually get it to focus but I want a full frame pretty much of that fish there. So now check this out. Watch this. I'm just gonna put the extension tube on. Like so. Put it back down front here. Whoops. Alright, go back to live view. Alright, so now with that extension tube, watch when I adjust the focus. Look at that. See how much closer we can get? And I can actually move closer because I got more focus to go. So let me slide my camera up a little closer to, to the subject here. Let's see how close I can get. Looks like I can get even closer. Let me see here. Look at that. See how narrow the depth of field is? But that's so cool, isn't it? I mean, that's what's so cool about these extension tubes. It's like a free free way. Let me just zoom in on the filming camera here a little bit. All right, so now my lens, the, the lens cap is almost maybe four inches away, and I could still focus on this thing, on this fish here. That's pretty much it, though. I can't get much closer. I'm, I'm actually creating a shadow now with my with my lens hood. But anyway, that's pretty much what an extension tube does. So you can see, instead of seven inches, I'm just gonna measure it real quick and see where I'm at. I'm at about two and a half inches now. So about the width of the screen is how far away I am from the that little glass sculpture thing. So extension tubes are awesome and you can imagine you know what you can do with flowers and things like that. I'm sorry I don't have something better set up here, but I just wanted to show you the concept of the extension tube and I think this illustrates it pretty well so in any event I highly recommend getting some extension tubes and throwing them in your bag because you never know when you're gonna see something cool on the side of the trail or whatever and you want to take a macro or a bug or something cool like that so I hope you guys got something out of this take it easy